Welcome back. I'm joined today by three experts to discuss the issues of the day that are of interest to me. My first guest flies hundreds of thousands of miles every Christmas Eve. He's not Dasher, Dancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, or Blitzen, or Rudolph, who suffers from nasal pigmentation syndrome. Please welcome, you guessed it, Prancer the Reindeer. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. Busy, busy days coming up. Okay, good to be, good to be away from work for a while. All right, my next guest is a serial name dropper, which isn't all that impressive since he only knows people from the small farming village of Avon, New York. Please welcome Pete Leone. Hey, thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. Hope this doesn't take too long. I got to get back to a ribbon cutting at the cone shop on uh, Main Street. The cone shop on Main Street in Avon. Yeah, yeah, Avon. There's yeah, where else is there? And finally, you all know and love my next guest, but probably not as much as her husband, Santa Claus, loves her. A warm welcome to Mrs. Chris Kringle. Thank you can you. call me Bonnie. You don't have to just address me as Mrs. Chris uh, you, you're, Kringle. You're I'm Bonnie Kringle. Person. I guess you must be in a hectic uh, place up there right now, right? Getting ready for the big, big show. I mean, and that doesn't really even concern me. It's sort of that's all Chris's deal. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I have a seasonal affective disorder, and um, and that's a thing. Yeah. That's a real. That's a seasonal affective disorder. Yeah. The abbreviation is sad. Oh. How fitting. It's right on the money. Let's talk about, uh, there, there's, there was a ban in North Carolina, the Supreme Court said you can't have the Choose Life license plates. Because the, uh, they said there's no pro-choice license plates, so it's not fair. And they had been sued by the ACLU. And that, that, on a greater point, why do Americans have an obsession with, with advertising stuff on their cars? Whether it's a vanity plate or bumper stickers. First of all, do you, do you have a car? Uh, no, I mean I can fly. I can fly wherever I want to. I try not to in the off season. Does the sleigh have a bunch of slogans? It in the would. Back? They're always bugging. And they're always bugging Santa's agent to like, you know, make it into essentially like a NASCAR car. But uh, so this is more for advertising revenue. But you don't have like an opinion. You just want to foist on everybody. Oh, like a bumper sticker. Yeah. Where, where it says, you know, like, oh, guns kill. Uh, Something like that. Uh, we try and keep it ecumenical, just like because you know. Santa Claus, there's only one Santa Claus, so, you know, as soon as he says anything political, right. it's, like, misinterpreted. So it's like Lady Gaga. Exactly, but, like, worse. What do you, uh, you have a car, right? I assume. Oh, there. yeah, I got a pretty good car. I don't like to be divisive. I like staying friends with everybody. Okay. Um, I'll tell you who does have a couple bumper stickers on his car, though, is uh, Councilman Snoops. Can you count? Councilman Snoops. Snoops? Yeah, he's Councilman Snoops. Snoops? Yeah. I thought you said Snoops. But which I thought was a word. That's he's Dutch. His family's okay, actually so Dutch. It's yeah, he told me about it one time. And he's got bumper stickers on his car. He's got bumper stickers all over his car. You know, like we're killing Christmas as one. Okay. Vanity plates? Uh yeah, he's got a couple of vanity plates. Couple. Hoo ha. He's a big pachino. I didn't guy. know you could have more than one. Bonnie, um, what do you think? Why do Americans feel the need to just advertise their politics on their fender? I don't know, maybe they just feel like Maybe they feel like when they look in the mirror, they can't even recognize themselves anymore. And if they just like, I don't know, slap on a belief and something they drive around in every day, then maybe when they're coming out of a store and they're looking for their car, they catch a glimpse of who they used to be. By looking at a sticker that says meat is murder? Or something? Yeah, they're like, oh, right, I believe in something. Okay, I'm a vegan. Yeah. And that makes you happy. I don't know. I always get closer to a smile when I remember something about myself. Well, give me, what, what do you remember about yourself? I remember really liking, you know, going out and dancing. Chris used to take me out and we would just dance the night away. So you don't see your husband a lot? I really don't. You I get, see the elves more than I even see him. You get January to yourself to just booze it up or go to, we, I go to Cabo, but... And then it's right, right back at it. Right back. You even, even the reindeer. Even yeah, we don't make toys or anything. You're essentially teamsters. I got to juice all year in order to, because I mean, Santa, you know, Christmas like, Eve is an incredibly taxing thing. Juicing means what? The, using steroids to. You to use fall. steroids. Yeah. Reindeer don't fly. Well, Nat naturally, that's a chemical thing, man. That's it. So this is the. So you're wow. Is I would I would kill if I could have a job that involved like eating berries and lichen or something like that. Uh -huh. But no, no dice. So no, I mean, are there side effects from doing steroids? And There's other? front effects. I mean, look at me. That's all the time we have for the BS of A this year, and all the time we have for this year in general. We're going to go spend some quality time with the family back again in 2013. In the meantime, remember, he knows when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows when you've been bad or good. He's Dave Stevens from the National Security Agency. Like us on Facebook, love us on Twitter, and yes, Lori Martini, there is a Santa Claus. Good night, America. Have a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year.
ハハハハ。